Hey guys, back for another review, and this time I'll be doing a review on The Last, and of course, Uncharted 4. Yeah. Now this case here is the original one, I just opened it up, and uh, you can see the cover there, and you know, stuff behind there. I just flipped it around because it looks more cooler, over Nathan Drake's pose of the gun, than him looking down, because if... It's the last game, you, do you want to have Nathan looking badass, or like, sad, or depressed, but that's how I am. Anyway, on to the game itself. Uh, story, well you know the story. Um, so, um, Nathan Drake is now retired from his treasure hunting life, and he's resettling down Valena. He hasn't been in contact with Sully for like 15 years, I think it was, 15, yeah. Um, I would go a bit and go to his past about how he and his brother had this big plan to find Avery's treasure with a guy named Rafe. Things didn't work out. They bailed out after an attempt at a Mexican warden, got killed, and his brother supposedly died. But eventually, Sam comes back into his life and he's alive because the doctors healed him up. And he's back and he has a problem. He's got Hector Alcazar, who is a warlord type character the drug warlord, whatever it is, and he wants, he, since he was his cellmate, and Sam knows about Avery's trigger, he calls Blabs to him, which is not the best idea he should have done, eh, Sam, but he does, he tells him, he, maybe he, he didn't think he believed him, but of course he was obsessed now with this treasure, and he wants his cut, he wants half, I think, of Avery's treasure. So, and he's given him three months to find all, and he's desperate, so he goes to his brother for help. And of course, as we know, he doesn't want to do this thing anymore because he made a promise. But instead of doing the honourable thing, like telling now Elena doesn't even know about Sam at all. Like he, she, Nathan has never mentioned him, and never mentioned his brother in his entire life. But what he does, but instead of telling the truth to Elena, he lies about it and goes on this quest to take care of. Sam and get the treasure back. Look at the treasure to pay off the the bad guy. Um, not really one of your best moves or anything. You have because there's another one you your screwed up points. So yeah, that's it. Nearly cost you your wife, and she was going to leave your ass. I'm sure you could saw that coming. The liar revealed plot. And then she just so like halfway through the game, Elena comes in and finds out. Yeah, and Sully comes in. Sully comes in like. Um, in the auction stuff, but he's not like me and uh, you. He's probably not happy that he didn't tell her after all what they've been through and stuff and how long. Because there was a thing of how to build them up, how they had to get together through games one, two, and three. Because in games two they were clo they got close, but in game three they sort of separated, and then they got back together, but in time. Four, they're together, and now they were separated just behind her back. So I can... Mm, yeah, you get why. So they go to different places. Um, the auction house, um, the Madagascar, um, what was it, Scotland, and the island itself. So quite a few shots. Not many, but a few. Pardon me. Um, let's talk about the villains. Rafe and Nadine Ross. Mm, nice name, Nadine. Um, let's start with Rafe. Rafe is the villain motivated by jealousy. He... That's what I think, anyway. That's what I got at it. He's the villain motivated by jealousy. He's not jealous of Sam, he's jealous of Nathan. Of all, his, all of his success. Despite his wealth, and despite his money, he's getting all this talk... I guess people have been spreading the word about Sam, this unknown treasure hunter who's been doing these things. I'm surprised that Rafe believed what these stories have told him. Like, hey, did you believe that Nathan Drake discovered the fabled El Dorado? Apparently, um, it must have been true or something, so there it is. But the only people who would have known about this stuff is his allies. So how does he... Did the allies tell people? Wow. Maybe Sully was drunk one time, he said, Hey, let me tell the story of how Nathan Drake discovered Shambhala. 
Yeah. That'd be weird. Mm. They, if that was the case, they would have thrown him out of the bar. But, I don't know. The point is, Rafe knows and he's jealous. And he goes to this big length of finding another treasure, which is Avery's treasure, of course. And he wants to go after it. Despite the fact that he gets help from his br from the two Drake brothers in order to do it. So he sort of uses them to get what he wants, even though he's trying to be better than this guy. So, yeah. The villain made by Chelsea. He's a spoiled brat, basically. Rich, pompous dick. Well, not pompous, but he's a rich dick. And, of course, he just weasels his way around with people. His relationship with Nadine Ross. Well, let's talk about Nadine for a second. She is one of the best villains in the franchise, but that's kind of easy to do. She's not my favourite villain, but she's up there. I might do a top ten top list about it. It won't be, it would be probably I might I might make it parts, but that's another topic. Um Nadine Ross is the leader of Shoreline, which is a hired army for muscle. It's kind of an easy way to give your villains um muscle. So if they made a no plot, you say, Oh Shoreline join these guys, Shoreline join these guys, but then it'll get boring. And besides in Lost Legacy, I kinda of know what happened, so yeah. I'm not going to say anything Lost Legacy because um, it just recently came out. <sighs> so, um, Nadine Ross is in it for the money because she wants to be. She'll think this expedition will put her back on the globe because Shoreline's gone down a few notches. So she's in it for the success and the pride. Now, um, at the end of the game, um, as you've seen in my walkthrough, you'll notice that Rafe pays off the mercenaries. And there's a line, like, in Madagascar, or, no. There's a line of Elena that she says, that makes sense. Rafe needs her for the muscle, and Nadine wants the money from him. So that way they pay off nicely to each other. However, Rafe pays off the goons, so he doesn't really need Nadine now, does he? So he, he should just let her go. But for some reason, he wants her to stay. I don't know why. The only logical explanation you can think of, as my friends on PlayStation have said, is that he likes her, and I really don't see that after their previous interactions, but you can tell me in the comments what you think about that. Sam, of course, gets found out about his lie, so there's two lies going on. Nathan makes a lie, and Sam makes a lie. Yeah. So, yeah, two people make lies, and it's both the Drake Rose. So Sam's lie is revealed when they catch him, and he sp uh, spills the beans. About Turns out Rafe broke, got, it, got him out. And he used Sam to help find the cross and stuff. Because the whole part of Baby's cross is just the eye of the pirates. And then, no, no. I like the plot of the pirates as well. With um, Thomas too. And um, this whole treasure is like the backstabbing thing. Everyone who gets this treasure gets what they deserve. Backstabbing at the back. Just good. I want the treasure. I want the treasure. Yeah. It's just like, like Sam and Rafe are doing. Um, so, with that... Um, there's also the old Sam lie thing. Elena comes to rescue him, of course. But she was, at Madagascar, she was very close to taking her ring off her finger. You could see her twiddling it. And I think Nathan was really scared about that. Well, he should have told her. But no, no, no. The plot. So, yeah, Nathan, of course, apologises. They make up. They're a very good touching scene, I must say, where they're going through Avery's traps under his mansion. And Elena nearly used to think she's dead, but she's not. And that was the way they made up. I mean, they made up as way as the way it went for the islands, but I like how they were making their way along talking while they were going on the adventure. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And it, it went to a slow, passionate pace. And he makes you feel, at that moment, when Elena woke up her eyes and smiled and there was that touching music, you could tell you were really going to miss these two. I mean, we know Nathan's not going to come back. Elena might, but considering she's with Nathan, I really doubt it. Sully would be a nice character to have a game. That'd be another topic of time. But of course, they stop Rafe. Sam, of course, goes back for the treasure, being an asshole, which he never learns, does he? As Sully says. So he goes back for the treasure. Nadine, of course, backstabs Rafe, which I'm not surprised for, and of course, gets away, leaving up for Lost Legacy. And, well, Rafe dies by Nathan in a, in a good sword fight. As much as I give Rafe not much credit, that sword fight with him taunting up how Nathan Nick stole the fable, hell the hell. I mean, it was good. It was like telling us all the great things he's done in the past three games because Nathan's whole point is coming to an end. It was a really good fight with that kind of thing. I mean, I don't like Nathan, I don't like Rafe, 
but I like the fight idea and how it worked out. Um, so, and the whole epilogue with Cass seeing his daughter is awesome. Awesome. Like, he deserved this. He deserved this. And he got it. A good, a good job that he can do legally. So, yeah. Sam is now his... Sam is now with Sully. He has his new Drake partner guy. And they're going to get to a lot of fun. I can tell you that. Lost Legacy. Wink, wink. Spoilers alert. Uh, I'm going to say. Because, yeah. I shouldn't have said that. But, oh well. Sam's it. Spoilers. You've been warned. Anyway. So, over the next... Um, I'm gonna give a rating to Uncharted 4, Thief's End, ooh. Nine and a half out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good game, with great, with great, um, story, some predictable plot, um, lies that you shouldn't have done. But some good multiplayer, great survival stuff. So the multiplayer is great, and so is the survival stuff. I recommend you buy for that. Um, other than that, I would give it all a good recommendation and a good conclusion to Nathan Drake's story. So this has been my review of the Uncharted games. One, all the way through four of Nathan Drake. And what's left is the Lost Legacy, so stay tuned for that. And my next game, my next game walkthrough, of course, will be The Last of Us. So stay tuned for that. Good gaming, God bless, and of course, see you guys later.